One of the first steps in developing a strategy for a workplace well-being initiative is to define the place from which you're starting. By documenting your starting point, you can use this baseline to measure change over time. Let's explore the steps that the Advancing Wellness team uses in conducting an assessment as part of an overall strategy engagement. Our first step is to conduct interviews with members of the senior leadership team. The purpose of these interviews is to understand the culture of the workplace, to gain insights in how change takes place in the organization, and to get an idea of each individual executive's own personal well-being habits. The number of interviews we conduct varies based on the size and type of organization. For these interviews, we use a standard set of questions that we've used in hundreds of such interviews. The next step is to conduct focus groups with employees. This is an important aspect of the qualitative data gathering. Sitting around a table, talking with employees, we learn about the organization and the people who work there. Focus groups reveal a lot of great detailed information on the culture, concerns of the employees, and their attitudes and beliefs about their personal well-being. We also use quantitative methods in the assessment process. This typically takes the form of an employee survey. This is an important data collection method as it really allows us to get information from a large percentage of the workforce. It also demonstrates to the employees that their input is being sought to craft the design of the well-being program. We typically custom design these surveys with our client and take into consideration surveys that may have already been conducted in the workplace. Our assessment wouldn't be complete without looking at other data that may already exist. This may include employee engagement surveys, pulse surveys, idea boards. Other data sources may include health risk assessments, health claims, workers' comp data, and employee assistance program usage, to name a few. Working with a member of the human resource staff, we review existing policies and also the physical workspace and the surrounding environment. We assemble the results of each of these steps of the assessment into a final report that reveals the themes of the culture in the workplace, identifies the needs and interests of the workforce, and establishes the baseline from which the program goals and objectives can be defined.